Meanwhile, families and friends of those VTA workers who were killed this week are still trying to come to terms with that unthinkable loss. Yeah, hometowns and neighborhoods are all so grieving. Among the VTA 9 was Adrian Baeza. Our Con 4 is Rob Flatbo has some reaction now to Baeza's passing uh, from his hometown of Gilroy. Rob, what can you tell us? Well, that's right, Vicki. I paid a visit to Adrian's neighborhood here in Gilroy today where he is again and again described as a soft-spoken young man who was always going out of his way to help others. Here's more. At 29 years of age, Adrian Beleza was the youngest of the nine VTA employees murdered in Wednesday's shooting rampage at the VTA rail yard in San Jose. He lived here in this quiet cul-de-sac in Gilroy, next door neighbors to Chris Burnett and his mother. He was just a great guy. He was always with his kids. He helped my mom out from time to time, helped her move boxes. Beleza was a bus driver. He leaves behind a wife and young son. In a statement, his wife described him as a kind, humble person who could light up a room with his big smile and goofy jokes. His proudest moment was becoming a father. It breaks my heart, she writes, that he won't be able to watch him grow up, take him fishing, or to his first football game. He was loved by so many people, and his passing has clearly touched a nerve here in his neighborhood. It also hits close to home because I'm a technician. I work on, on cars, and, and, and some of the technicians that worked at our shop uh, have actually moved to VTA some time ago. So, you know, there's, there was a, a temperature in the shop the other day that was, you know, it was, a, you know, Let's, let's be nice to each other. In her statement, Beleza's wife said he and two co-workers may have prevented more bloodshed by warning others to take cover before they were gunned down after leaving a break room. Off camera, several other neighbors praised Beleza's everyday heroism as an essential worker, but it was the little things remembered most by Chris Burnett and his mother. And he just gave my mom a whole bunch of food because she's really sick right now, and I appreciated that from him. So he's a really compassionate guy. And in post after post on social media, Adrian uh, was again and again described as someone who never failed to make people smile. Live in Gilroy, Rob Flatabo, Cron 4 News.